Another dark phase coyote this time, man, it was great. Got here right off the bat. High fields, you got the cow field. There's no cows in these fields that I'm hunting right now. And all I did is I put out some pup chatter, a little bit of noise, pup fighting, and I seen one move way down on the bottom. And they don't like to come long distances right now because high fields, and you're gonna see in this video a lot, this coyote is going around eating either grasshoppers or crickets. There's a lot of crickets in here right now in these high fields, these high cow fields, and they're all over the place. And I seen him jumping and eating, and he would come toward me, thought I was gonna get a slam dunk shot, and all of a sudden he would take off and go down 100 yards, 200 yards, and then wait, he'd feed a little bit, and he made a big, almost like a half of a circle on me, coming around to where I originally called. I just cut through, come down the creek, and when I was watching him, pretty much a stalk on a coyote that I had called before, at least got it to move. They're not answering me. They're not coming long distances to me right now. So what I'm doing is calling, watching them with the scanner, catching them with the scanner, moving in, watching the wind. And I got in for a slam dunk here. It's always great to walk up on these dark faced coyotes. I think it's maybe number 11 or number 12 now that I've taken here in South Carolina. And I love coming. This one has a lot of white in its face. And uh, it's a very nice color here. Great. All right, I got a second one. I got out to the road here, dragging this black one out, getting ready to dispose of them up over here. What happens is I get out to the road, take a little bit of a break, and I put that collar back out. Do that pup chatter a couple times, play it maybe two minutes, stop it, play it again, and I catch them. Thermal scanner out there about 200 yards along that same wood line. And what's happening is they're not coming a long distance. All they're doing, they're not responding to me, they're not calling back go move a little bit and then you're gonna see in this video as I move in on this the second one they're just jumping up there man they're, they're catching these crickets and they're going going through there jumping the crickets they'll go one way they'll go another way and it's hard to call them a long distance right now so what I do is just locate them make a move just a little bit then I move in get that slam dunk and bam we drop that second one another great night here I'm gonna check a couple fields on the way home but I'm pretty much done for the night thanks for liking subscribing again drop two we're well on our way these young coyotes are going to be out pretty soon they're going to be flooded in these fields and you're going to be able to put up them big numbers again on smaller coyotes but man you're going to have a lot of them out there pretty soon so stay tuned for a lot more